Today we're going to talk about some of the best Blender add-ons for architectural visualization, from parametric primitives, interior design, to material libraries, and so on. These add-ons will boost your Archivate's workflow and make it much more appealing. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to talk about an interesting tool, and it is called Construction Lines. It is all about accurate CAD style modeling, where it gives you the ability to draw precise rectangles, circles and arcs from snap points on existing geometry or guides, and you can easily create complex shapes without the need for Blender's 3D cursor. But that's not everything. The add-on allows for guide edges and guide points to be toggled off and on when needed. Plus, when working outside of construction lines, neither guide angles nor guide points will be rendered, making for a seamless modeling experience. Also now, with persistent dimension display on guides, you can easily keep track of your measurements and ensure your shapes are just right. The add-on works effortlessly between object and edit modes in Blender, so you can use it for any type of modeling task. You probably also have heard of Archimesh, which is an add-on available in Blender by default, and it offers a range of pre-built architectural elements that can be easily inserted into your projects. The add-on allows you to create various architectural structures and elements, Elements such as rooms, walls, doors, columns, stairs, and tile floors, as well as furniture items like kitchen cabinets, books, lamps, and window coverings such as Japanese curtains and Venetian blinds. One of the main benefits of using Archimash is that it saves you a lot of time and effort, especially for visualization artists and architectural designers who are not interested in dealing with a lot of technicalities of modeling allowing them to focus on the creative aspect of their work. Archimage is particularly useful for creating architectural visualizations where the focus is on aesthetics and the functionality of the space rather than technical details of the modeling process. Also, we have to keep in mind that professionals like these don't have a lot of time, so this is going to be very, very useful. Around the same topic, the Building Tools add-on for Blender is a free tool that allows you to create architectural elements quickly and easily. This add-on can be used to generate floors, windows, railings, doors, balconies, roofs, stairs, and more, making it possible to create a building or house in just a matter of minutes. And it is especially useful for getting quick exterior architectural visualization scenes. I mean getting them done in a short period of time. So with this add-on, you can create a floor plan by tweaking the operator in the left button corner of the end panel. Once you have your floor plan, you can select it and go to the edit mode to add floors. To add windows, doors, or balconies, simply select the face and use the operator to tweak the elements. Due to the fact that the resulting models are in between low poly and high poly, they are excellent for quickly prototyping architectural designs. In a nutshell, this add-on is awesome and makes it really simple to create architectural models making them ideal for stylized animations and even architectural visualization. But it hasn't gotten a lot of attention like the other add-ons, despite its potential. Another add-on that is considered a powerful tool for architects and designers is called Archipack, and it allows you to streamline your workflow and focus more on the creative aspects of your work. It comes with a vast collection of parametric primitives, so this add-on provides an easy way to create some of the most commonly used elements in ArcViz, such as walls, windows, doors, floors, and stairs. One of the key features of Archipack is its presets, which allows you to quickly and easily apply different types of stairs or windows to the designs. This gives you a lot of variety and options, without having to spend too much time on modeling. By the way, the add-on has a very intuitive interface and it is extremely easy to use because it has a real-time on-screen editing interface that makes it easy to manage objects and make changes on the fly. Another important feature of Blender Archipack is its material library, which provides a collection of high-quality materials that can be applied to objects in the scene. Overall, Archipack is an indispensable tool for architects and designers who want to create high-quality architectural visualization quickly and efficiently. Also, we can't cover this topic without talking about Modeling Gen. 
which is a new tool that appeared in the scene. It basically works as a modeling generator tool for your architectural visualization or to add details to your creations. It works by converting your simple models to more impressive models by adding some complicated shapes. The Anon has 30 different curve presets that you can experience with. Also, it has intuitive controls in the properties panel, which makes it easy to use. It is fully based on geometry nodes, which is extremely good. And the UVs are automatic and it allows you to flip controls for more precision. Simply put, modeling gen is extremely useful if you want to create complicated architectural models such as arcs and round objects. Also, interior design projects require attention to detail and can be time consuming. Therefore, to streamline the workflow and allow more time for creativity, using an asset library is an essential and this library may be the best one in this category. Interior Essentials is an asset library that offers over 550 high-quality render-ready models and 100 materials for interior visualizations. The Flow Asset Manager manages the library, making it easy to find and use the assets needed. Also, the Flow Asset and Material Painter allows you to add dozens of models and materials to the scenes with just few clicks making it easy to create complex scenes. Adding to that, with over 600 unique handcrafted assets, Interior Essentials offers high-quality models and materials, and the plugin allows users to add their own assets to the library easily, making it a versatile library with much more options. So as you can see, by using this tool as a designer or an artist, you can create breathtaking photorealistic interiors faster and with much less effort. Another cool add-on for today is gonna be Cat Transform. This one basically allows you to precisely move, rotate, and scale objects just like a cat software. The add-on is pretty simple because it gives you a tool to measure exactly how you're gonna transform your object, and it works on both object and edit mode for mesh and curves. It also gives you the ability to snap from or to vertices, edges, faces, and also from and to the grid, object's origins, cursor, and so on. And the best part about it is that it is free to use, and in my opinion, it is one of the best free Blender add-ons that you can get, especially if you want precise modeling. Around the same topic, we have Profiler, which is an add-on that can help you up with the architectural visualization workflow. It is a simple add-on that works by allowing you to create stunning shape profiles and it comes with a bunch of options to tweak it as you like. It contains 70 plus unique profiles with many tweaking options, such as profile dimensions and rotation, a gamepad for profile origin alignment, the resolution for the curve, and the profile. And it also comes with some shading options. And if you're looking for something related to materials and textures, B Production recently released a brand new add-on called Real Wood Textures. It has 123 stunning wood textures from 123 different tree species. The textures are divided into four categories, European, American, exotic, and precious woods. In addition, they come in high quality resolutions ranging from 2K to 8K, which is impressive. The add-on has six wood treatments, and you can modify the textures with its unique shaders, allowing you to change hue, contrast, brightness, bump, normal maps, specularity, roughness, and even simulate painted wood. Also, with the asset browser, you can easily assign wood materials to objects by clicking and dragging. These textures are perfect for creating warm and hyper-realistic atmospheres, especially in rooms for decoration and for designing furniture. Adding to that, all the textures are seamless, so you won't notice any edges when you start repeating the textures and materials making them perfect for massive 3D models. And by the way, all the materials are PBR materials. They have diffuse, specular, roughness, normal, bump, and ambient occlusion, ensuring that they look great regardless of lighting conditions. Finally, the animal features anisotropic reflections, making some wood species have stunning reflections that change appearance depending on the light. So, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up 
you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.